Hello everyone, and welcome back to TechBees. Today we are going to start a series of videos on Tensor Processing Unit TPUs. It's a technical presentation of the latest technology, and is made for education purposes only. So, without further ado, let's get started. Abstract. A Tensor Processing Unit TPU is an accelerator. Application-specific integrated circuit, a SIC, developed by Google for artificial intelligence and neural network machine learning. With machine learning gaining its relevance and importance every day, the conventional microprocessors have known to be unable to effectively handle the computations, be it training or neural network processing. There are different types of TPU. The first generation TPU is a hardware chip, used at Google Data Center for faster computation. The second generation TPU is now available in cloud and empowers businesses everywhere to access this accelerator technology to speed up their machine learning workloads using its high-speed network. The third generation TPU is twice as powerful as its previous generation, and this result in an eight-fold increase in performance. The training and running deep learning models can be computationally demanding. It is where TPU comes into picture. This technology is being used by Google in their various major products like Translate, Photos, Search, Assistant, and Gmail. TPUs are advantageous in acceleration of computational performance. Introduction. A Tensor Processing Unit TPU is an accelerator, application-specific integrated circuit ASIC, developed by Google for artificial intelligence and neural network machine learning. With machine learning gaining its relevance and importance every day, the conventional microprocessors have known to be unable to effectively handle the computations, be it training or neural network processing. The Graphical Processing Unit GPU, with their highly parallel architectures, designed for graphic processing, proved to be way more useful than CPUs for purpose but somewhat lacking. To counter such situations, Google developed TPU, which would be used by its TensorFlow Artificial Intelligence Framework, data scientists, machine learning engineers, and machine learning researchers cannot be maximally productive if they have to wait days or weeks for their model training to complete. This technology has significantly reduced the time and enhanced accuracy for common machine learning problems. TensorFlow Framework TensorFlow is an open-source library developed by Google for its internal use. Its main usage is in machine learning and dataflow programming. TensorFlow computations are expressed as stateful dataflow graphs. The name TensorFlow derives from the operations that such neural networks perform on multidimensional data arrays. These arrays are referred to as tensors. Types of TPU There are three generations of TPUs, which we shall see one by one. First generation TPU. The first generation TPU is an 8 bit matrix multiplication engine driven with Cis constructions by the host processor across a Psi 3.0 bus. It is manufactured on a 28 nanometer process with a die size less than 331 millimeter square. The clock speed is 700 megahertz and it has a thermal design power of 28 to 40 watts. It has 28 MB of on chip memory and 4 MB of 32 bit accumulators, taking the results of a 256x256 systolic array of 8 bit multipliers. Within the TPU package is 8 GB of dual channel 2133 MHz DDR3 SDRAM offering 34 GB per second of bandwidth. Instructions transfer data to or from the host, perform matrix multiplications or convolutions, and apply activation functions. It was developed to accelerate the machine learning workloads from Google Data Center. Second Generation TPU The second generation TPU was announced in May 2017. This TPU is now available in cloud and also known as Cloud TPU and supports training and inference. Google stated, the first generation TPU design was limited by memory bandwidth and using 16 GB of high bandwidth memory in the second generation design increased bandwidth to 600 GB per second and performance to 45 teraflops. The TPUs are then arranged into four chip modules with a performance of 180 teraflops. Then 64 of these modules are assembled into 256 chip pods with 11.5 petaflops of performance, notably. While the first generation TPUs were limited to integers, the second generation TPUs can also calculate in floating point. This makes the second generation TPUs useful for both training and inference of machine learning models. Google has stated, these second generation TPUs will be available on the Google Compute Engine for use in TensorFlow applications. Cloud TPU chips are interconnected and therefore communication between chips does not have to involve the host CPU or host networking. 
The APIs used to program Cloud TPU can take advantage of Cloud TPU pods without code changes. As a result, it is easy to scale up to massive compute clusters. The hardware support built into the chips results in effectively linear performance scaling across a broad range of deep learning workloads. Third Generation TPU The third generation TPU was announced on May 8, 2018. Google announced that processors themselves are twice as powerful as the second generation TPUs and would be deployed in pods with four times as many chips as the preceding generation. This result in an eight-fold increase in performance per pod compared to the second generation TPU deployment. TPU architecture. There are two TPU architectures. First, software architecture and second, hardware architecture. Let's discuss software architecture first. Software architecture. The TPU estimators are a set of high-level APIs that are built upon estimators, which simplify building models for cloud TPU and which extract maximum TPU performance. When writing a neural network model that uses Cloud TPU, you should use the TPU Estimator APIs. TensorFlow Client. The TPU Estimators translate your programs into TensorFlow operations, which are then converted into a computational graph by a TensorFlow Client. A TensorFlow Client communicates the computational graph to a TensorFlow Server. A TensorFlow Server runs on a Cloud TPU Server. When the server receives a computational graph from the TensorFlow Client, the server performs the following actions. First, loads inputs from cloud storage. Second, partitions the graph into portions that can run on a cloud TPU and those that must run on a CPU. Third, generates XLA operations corresponding to the subgraph that is to run on cloud TPU. Fourth, invokes the XLA compiler. XLA compiler. XLA is a just-in-time compiler that takes as input high-level optimizer operations that are produced by the TensorFlow server. XLA generates binary code to be run on cloud TPU, including orchestration of data from on-chip memory to hardware execution units and inter-chip communication. The generated binary is loaded onto cloud TPU using PSI connectivity between the cloud TPU server and the cloud TPU and is then launched for execution. Hardware architecture. Cloud TPU hardware is comprised of four independent chips. The following block diagram describes the components of a single chip. Each chip consists of two compute cores, called tensor cores. A tensor core consists of scalar, vector and matrix units. In addition, 8 GB of on-chip memory is associated with each tensor core. For Cloud TPU v2 and 16 GB for Cloud TPU v3. The bulk of the compute horsepower in a Cloud TPU is provided by the matrix units. Each matrix unit is capable of performing 16K multiply accumulate operations in each cycle. While the matrix in its inputs and outputs are 32-bit floating point values, the matrix units performs multiplies at reduced B-float-16 precision. B-float-16 is a 16-bit floating point representation that provides better training and model accuracy than the IEEE half-precision representation. Matrix multiplier unit, MXU, is 65, 536 8-bit multiply and add units for matrix operations. Unified buffer, up, is 24 MB of SRAM that work as registers. Activation unit, AU is, hardwired activation, functions. Built for artificial intelligence on Google Cloud. Architected to run cutting-edge, machine learning models with AI services on. Google Cloud, Cloud TPU delivers the computational power to transform your business or create the next research breakthrough. With a custom high-speed network that allows TPUs to work together on ML workloads, Cloud TPU can provide up to 11.5 petaflops of performance in a single pod. Applications of TPU TPU and Machine Learning Machine learning has enabled breakthroughs across a variety of business and research problems, from strengthening network security to improving the accuracy of medical diagnosis. Because training and running deep learning models can be computationally demanding, we built the Tensor Processing Unit, TPU, and a SIC design from the ground up for machine learning that powers several of major products, including Translate, Photos, Search, Assistant, and Gmail. Cloud TPU empowers businesses everywhere to access this accelerator technology to speed up their machine learning workloads on Google Cloud. As shown by the MOPERF benchmark, Google Cloud offers accessible infrastructure for machine learning training at every scale. Training a machine learning model is analogous to compiling code. Models need to be trained over and over as apps are built, deployed, and refined, so it needs to happen fast and cost-effectively. Cloud TPU provides the performance and cost ideal for ML teams to iterate faster on their solutions. For example, if you are training an image recognition model and want to train it up to 75% accuracy, a few years ago it would take you days. 
but now it is down to about 12.5 hours in cloud TPU, and on full TPU we can do that in less than 12.5 minutes. TPUs play a huge role in efficient innovation in the field of machine learning. Some of its real-world applications are, first, this technology is used to get heart health signals in a completely passive way just by taking the picture of back of the eye. This is a real-world application that is going to help to improve people's lives which is possible with these powerful models in machine learning. Second, it used in tracking illegal logging in the rainforests by putting recycled mobile phones in trees which can listen to sounds of chainsaws or other activities and help people protect rainforests in any part of the world. Third, it helps in unification of many different application domains. Before, different domains like computer vision, speech recognition, machine translation etc. had different implementation techniques from each set. But over the past few years, there had been consolidation in deep learning around neural networks that have similar components, even if the detail of their structure is different. Okay everyone that's all in this video. The TPU technical paper is also provided in the description box. Do check it out. Also if you like this video, then do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.